What's up everybody, CloudCord here. I've heard a lot of chatter online and in real life about people frustrated that you can't trigger snapshots. These are snapshots, just presets in an Ableton rack. That you can't trigger or access them inside your push two or your push three. Source of frustration for a lot of people. So today I'm here to show you a hack that I've been using in my live set for the better part of a year and a half or two. And it works really well, so let me walk you through it. This would be a short one, short and sweet. Okay, so the brain behind this whole situation is a Max for Live device called Smooth Automator. Now there's Smooth Automator Audio and MIDI. Today we're gonna look at audio, but they do the same thing. You need to put this device first in your chain, okay? And these variation numbers will trigger the appropriate snapshot, okay? So you see I'm jumping around, selecting these different variations, and it is changing my snapshots, and thus my macros, and thus my whole sound, right? So how do we use these in an effective way that makes our life easier? Well, the answer is clip automation. So allow me to show you. So I have one track here called Clean. This is just a live guitar channel. If I open up my inputs, you can just see it's on monitor in. So I'm using this as a live channel. You can also use the other, you can use monitor auto or monitor off if you're using this for recorded playback, right? So we wanna go in here, we wanna go inside each clip and we can toggle between the audio tab and the envelopes tab, which quick teachable moment Option one is the audio tab. Option two is the envelope tab. That hotkey is worth the price of admission alone. Thank you, Cloud Cord. Okay, so inside these, we wanna to go to option two, the envelope tab, and inside the envelopes, click on where it says mixer, and you wanna to go to smooth automator audio. You'll notice I have a red dot here because I've actually already lined up some automation, but I'm gonna show you how I did it. So in the secondary menu, we wanna to go to variation. Remember, variations were just these selections here, right? So what we wanna do is I want, if I want clean to be trigger snapshot one, I'm gonna make it variation one. And then I titled the next one Leslie. So that is snapshot three. So make it snapshot three. And then phase lead was, I believe, eight. So we're gonna make that eight. So, and you could just check your work by staying in this envelopes view and clicking between all of them. So that's variation one. Oh, see, see, my uh, second one did not work. So we need to make that variation three and then variation eight. One more time, checking my work, boom. That step is crucial if you're doing a bunch of these, right? Okay, so now let me plug in my guitar and let's put it to the test. One other thing I do wanna mention before I do that is make sure you go into this tab that has your follow actions, it's the second tab. And all the way at the bottom, this is your clip quantization. Just be mindful of what the quantization is. If you want these clips to immediately trigger your snapshot, have it on quantization none. But if this is something you're gonna have automated in a live set per downbeat, then maybe you automate it to one bar or a quarter note or something like that. So something to be mindful of. Okay, here we go, let's test these out. Here's the clean. All right, next clip. Hope that helps. There is a link to the Smooth Automator page in the description, and I'll see you next time.